What's going on, Chick Foley Nation? I am back with another episode of Unboxing Mania for you guys. Today we are going to be unboxing Retro Fest Hacksaw Jim Duggan. This is a GameStop exclusive. I love everything about the Retro Fest series. They are just incredible. We have a few more on the horizon that I'm super excited about. Um, but before we release this guy from his plastic arcade prison, um, let's just take a brief little rundown of Retro Fest history. So, first of all, we have this amazing macho man retro fest that GameStop gave us. Well, Mattel gave us, but um, it's a GameStop exclusive as are all the retro fests. This is him in his like patriotic gear. I think this is from, I think he may have wrestled in this gear um, a few times on like Raw, um, but I'm always a mark for anything that's like, you know, the patriotic, like, you know, USA, USA gear. So anyway, so we have the macho man retro fest. And we also have Rockers Shawn Michaels Retro Fest. I mean, guys, everything about this figure is m -m 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 mage. I am just obsessed with the paint. I'm obsessed with the neon colors. However, like, I had a problem with this because who needs a Rocker Shawn Michaels if you don't have Marty Jannetty, right? It doesn't really make sense. So what we did we had to bring his partner up in here sorry about knock something off the table um and we did a quick little custom on our own we got another Shawn michaels retro fest and we took the head off of i don't know if it'll focus we took the head off of a marty Janetti figure popped it right on there he is a little bit um uh short for marty Janetti, but who cares, right? Um, now we have the complete rocker set because they gave us that incredible legend series, which was phenomenal. But I mean, you can't have one without the other. So, and last, probably the best retro fest that has been released so far is this Honky Tonk Man retro fest. He is just incredible in his signature blue jumpsuit, comes with the guitar. I think this is the, um, definitely the best honky tonk figure that we have so far. I mean, he has another elite and a red jumpsuit, but um, if I only had to have one, I definitely think the Retro Fest is superior. I mean, look at the detailing on the back of the jacket. Oh, just incredible. But that brings us to the latest release. We have Hacksaw Jim Duggan here. Um, um, we're going to get into the details of this figure, but first we got our trusty old Kershaw blade. Oh, that didn't go as smoothly as the last few times, but you know, what are you gonna do? We're gonna pop this guy open. These boxes are weird. I can't remember if I can just slide this guy out of the top or if I'm gonna have to cut the tape on the sides as well. Nope. So, you can't just pull him out. That's why there is tape on the sides over here too. So you gotta cut the front of the box. Oh. I do think the Retro Fest packaging is by far my favorite elite packaging probably ever. I mean, I wish this was like the standard elite packaging because it is just so freaking incredible. One of the Hounds of Justice is over here knocking things over. She just knocked over Shinsuke Nakamura and Kurt Angle off of the Milkomania set. Making a damn mess in here. Uh-oh. Oh God, the box isn't coming open. This tray, for all you mint, if I was a mint on box collector, this would be awesome. But for me, I'm like, I'm tempted to just like rip into this and just like pull the freaking tray off the front. Oh my God, how many tabs are there? There's more tape, holy shit. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Okay, I finally got him out of there. Holy crap, I forgot what a pain in the butt those boxes are to open. So if you are a mint on box collector or if you ever wanted to open that box without completely demolishing it, good luck. Um, the good thing about that though is that um, much less likely to have figure swaps. You know, they can't really uh, put the box back together. So maybe Mattel should think about that when they make their packaging um, to make it a little more difficult for assholes too take the figures out and just put them back in without tearing up the box. Bill, are you listening? Um, anyway, so we have holy freaking smokes, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Let's get right into the details of this guy. 
All right, guys, so we have the Retro Fest Hacksaw Jim Duggan here in all of his glory with all of his accessories. It comes with this paper American flag for him to wave around and show his patriotism. Um, also, speaking of patriotism, he has red, white, and blue stars and bars, knee pads. He's got the white boots. He has um, an American flag over here as well as on the other side. This is a dope figure. The cool thing is, is like, it's different from his other figure because it has the singlet. Like you can see under the shirt, like it's actually a singlet versus his other figure is just trunks and knee pads and boots. Um, he does come with a t-shirt. It's kind of like a hodgepodge figure, right? So, you know, you got the t-shirt here from like the mid eighties. Um, and then you got the crown from like the late eighties when he was, um, King Hacksaw and then uh, the singlet that was like, you know, the mid 90s. So he's kind of like a little hodgepodge figure, but we do need this version of Hacksaw in our collection. Um, it does have a different face scan. So he kind of looks like the Burger King. I'm not going to lie. Um, but he's got that derpy like signature hacksaw face he's got you know <laughs> standard elite articulation um and i love 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 let me see if i can get this crown i love the details and everything on his crown so that is the retro fest hacksaw jim duggan i'm gonna show you guys compared to his other his legends figure that we have let me see if i can get this guy to stand up he's got really loose stomach articulation <laughs> so we have oh camera we have this this is his legend series it's simple it's just like his basic figure you can see he's got the blue trunks he's got the boots the um, blue knee pads you can tell he's been pretty successful in uh, in ICW. He is wearing the UK championship, and he comes with his standard board. These two um, two-by-fours are the same, by the way. So the Legends and the uh, Retro Fest two-by-four. I do love this face scan, though. I mean, that is, like, standard Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Like, that is, they, like, freaking nailed it. Um, especially, that's one of the best face scans from, like, the older, the older series of figures. And then this one is one that we we made ourselves. We actually took the face scan off of the um, SummerSlam. Let me get these guys to stand up. Come on. Work with me here, guys. Um, the SummerSlam basic, like that face paint was just too freaking mage to be on a basic figure. So we got another uh, Legends body and just put that face paint on there. And you can tell he's been successful in ICW as well. He's got the WCW <laughs> uh, TV championship. So those are our three hacksaw jim duggan figures that we have in our collection pretty freaking mage i'm stoked about it i don't know if we'll get another um you know another version of hacksaw but if we don't i'm very happy with the ones that we have now oh yeah and this hacksaw i don't know i thought i lost something um we usually display him with this two by four it's a jacks two by four so you can see it's a little bit bigger a little bit bulkier um but that's how we usually display that guy but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Unbox a Mania. And I will be back next week. I have some amazing figures to unbox for you guys. This was a little one off. We grabbed this over the weekend, and I definitely wanted to go ahead and pop it open. And since we were unboxing the Retro Fest series, I wanted to rock my chalk line Wrestle Fest jacket. If you haven't seen this jacket, it is a freaking amazing. Um, definitely go to their website, check it out. Look at the back. Look at the back. Look at the back of that jacket. It is a beautiful piece of clothing, am I right? Anyway, I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day and I will talk to you soon. Mwah.